The Night of the Living Hamster. As a working couple doing long, stressful hours, we enjoy the fluffy, therapeutic nature of hamsters. We had several hamsters over the years. First, there was Sarah, the smart one. Next, there was Lily, <laughs> the derpy one. And then, there was Smudgy. Even though each one of our hamster stories were unique in their own way, they always ended the same, in death. Each hamster was buried with loving care beside a creek in our backyard, but Smudgy's story was different. As contract artists, our work had brought us to Canada. It was the peak of winter and Smudgy's health had begun to decline. <laughs> Despite our best efforts to nurse him back to health, his death was inevitable. <laughs> Uh, should we bury him in the park across the street? Are you kidding me? It's nighttime and the ground is frozen. Let's just put him in the trash. Oh, this feels wrong. Trust me, this is for the best. Let's go. TV turned on. Ugh, must be the weather or something. <sighs> well, I'm up. Do you want a snack? Yeah. Let me take a shower first. What's your emergency? Hello? Hello? Uh, hey, what's going on? It's Fudge! Why is he doing this? I think I know what we have to do. Found him! Quick, let's go! Rest in peace, buddy. 